Well, he's the best Worcester has when it comes to sniffing out drugs, and he does it all on four legs. Nikita was adopted by the Worcester County Sheriff's Department a few years ago. Our Andy Madison is here to tell us why Nikita and the Sheriff's Department will receive national attention. Andy? That's right, Kayla. Nikita, according to the Worcester County Sheriff, has been a big help in keeping drugs out of the Worcester County Jail. Later this month, they'll be on national television. He's become a deputy's best friend. He's my partner, you know, he's he's with me 24 seven. He comes home. He's a he's a pet at home with my family at home. Nikita is just as adorable and playful as any other dog. Put his collar on. I'll give him a little bit of food at work. It's a little different. He's there to make you relaxed and be friendly because he's there to sniff narcotics, especially prescription drugs, a job that the sheriff says he does quite well. It has it looks like it was wet and then dried going through the mail that comes to the prison. He sniffs the mail every day. His first day on the job, he found somebody trying to smuggle Suboxone in on the glue of a letter, and he hit on it right away. Three years ago, the department adopted Nikita from the Sterling Animal Shelter. The dog is now part of the canine unit, and the move has gotten the attention of the producers of Shelter Me, a PBS series about shelter dogs. The crew came and filmed Nikita and Lieutenant Shabbat on the job. As we found out, Nikita doesn't shy away from the spotlight. During filming, his partner says it wasn't an issue. He was kind of indifferent to the whole thing. He just, uh, it was like they weren't even there. This is a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate that shelter dogs can do amazing things, including law enforcement work, and do it just as well as a traditional canine. Now, the episode is scheduled to air on PBS on October 25th, but next Tuesday night at the Hanover Theater, there'll be an advanced screening of the episode. It is open to the public, and they'll be taking donations for local animal shelters. Kayla, back to you.